What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video and in this one I want to break down what's going on with Tesla, Spy, Nvidia, the QQQ and a couple of other tickers. Let me first say that I am not a financial planner so take nothing I say as financial advice. And don't forget about the Moomoo link, the offer ends very soon. You deposit $100, you're guaranteed 7 free stocks. The offer ends in just about a couple of weeks so check it out before they run out. Anyways, from the market I want to break down something very important. Spy is trying to push right now. We're seeing a lot of buyers kind of stepping back in, trying to get this uh, nice liquidity grab over here. We're going to be testing our 505.59 ARR20 EMA. Breaking through this opens the doors for 507. But even if SPY were to pump like this, do not forget that there, there is a possible head and shoulders like structure that is still valid, even if we go all the way up to 507. So we will see if this leads to a big dump or not. Now, if we were to keep pumping and break past 510, we could turn back to bullish. I mentioned this in my earlier video. Uh, we, obviously, we weren't really expecting it to pump this hard, but sometimes unexpected things could happen in the markets, and that's why you always want to be looking at different levels. So another warning I have is that Apple has its earnings today after the market closes. If Apple does really, really well and Apple ends up pumping, yes, this could actually help the market push higher. It's a real possibility. But what if the opposite happens? What if we're pumping like this because Apple's about to dump? It's also possible we kind of pump like this and eventually make our way back down after Apple's earnings. So you want to be open-minded with that coming out, and you want to be very, very unbiased when it comes to the way the market's moving right now. So as of right now, going into close, we are trying to pump and fill this imbalance over here on the left. There is potential for this to go even higher. Once again, if we continue to hold above 505.59, we could go up to about 507. Uh, but that does not invalidate this head and shoulders over here. Okay, it doesn't invalidate this, and then what else will determine how we end up moving is going to be Apple. So if you are willing to hold overnight, you're going to have to hold through Apple's earnings, and that could be kind of risky because you never know what could happen. And if you really think that Apple is going to do well, you could hold on to your calls overnight. If you think that the opposite is going to happen, you can actually switch your position. You could sell covered calls to something different on these different stocks out there. So it's your choice, but I just want to give you guys a warning about that. So this head and shoulders is still valid, but you know it gives the potential for the downside unless we continue to break past 510. We haven't done that yet. As of right now, we are pushing and we could push a little bit higher, but I just want to give you guys a warning to just be patient and wait and see how this goes. Apple's earnings will determine if this move ends up failing or not. Now for Tesla, if you look at the chart and zoom out on Tesla, this is technically on a downtrend, but... Tesla's approaching this resistance over here at our 50 EMA. That's the 181 zone. Breaking through this opens the door for Tesla to try to go back up to one, <coughs> excuse me, 182. Breaking that could take this up to about 185 all over again. If it rejects here, we could continue to sink to 178. And eventually come down to fill this gap. I personally think that there's a good chance that Tesla will eventually fill its gap. The downside, uh, we're getting a lot of negative news. Uh, but for now, it's holding up with the market. And I think that Apple's going to have a big effect on what we end up seeing. For the QQQ, it's very similar to SPY. You know, we still have this head and shoulders like structure. And there is a risk of this potentially falling if we end up failing to break 430. If it gets above 430 and starts pushing for 433, yes, we're going to turn back to bullish. And this thing could start pushing back up to another high. And the downside move could be a little bit delayed. But if we end up continuing to push a little bit more from here, and if we get a rejection, uh, near 428 to 430 if we end up projecting in that area because I do think we have potential to go all the way up towards the 428. Uh, the question is, will we end up projecting, right? If we get that rejection, it could be because of Apple. So just wait and see, guys. There is a head and shoulders on the QQQ just like that of SPY. It hasn't panned out yet, so we'll just have to be a little bit patient with this one and see how it ends up going. Apple is also ripping alongside NVIDIA. They're ripping to the upside right now. Apple ripped all the way up to 173. It's been pushing up from a technical standpoint, but whether or not this continues will determine will be determined, excuse me, by Apple's earnings. Will they do really well? Will they end up squeezing to the 180s or are we about to get a rug pull? We will just have to wait and see. Apple does have this gap down here, so just be patient. Don't forget it's also going to be a Friday. Fridays have lots of manipulation, and just be patient nonetheless. For NVIDIA, this managed to break past 850, so it's going up to our next target of 862. Uh, but the thing is, there is a possible slanted head and shoulders on this and we'll have to see how it ends up reacting to this resistance this is forming like a bullish wedge so there's potential for this to go a little bit higher we'll see how it reacts to 862 though if we do push above that then we could go up to 870 so i'll just wait and see do we break through this and start pushing higher temporarily or are we about to get a rug pull starting tomorrow 
It all depends on Apple's earnings. It also depends on what reactions we get. NVIDIA is showing some strength and resilience, though it does have potential to go higher towards 862. So watch for that, at least for the time being. With that being said, guys, uh, SPY is back to shuffling around the 200 EMA, this 505 zone. It's been trying to break through this. Once again, if it does somehow break this, then 507 can be coming. But just know that I wouldn't necessarily uh, be overly optimistic or overly bearish right now. Uh, I see that the charts suggest that there is potential for a, a downside move. If you guys look at it, there is potential for this to come back down. Uh, looking at the head and shoulders, this is still valid, okay? We could still be forming a right shoulder. If we break past 510, we'll turn back to bullish and we could invalidate this and spike could start to rip higher. Uh, sometimes unexpected things could happen, so it is what it is. But right now, I wouldn't necessarily turn into a perma bull or perma bear. I would just wait and see. So get ready for Apple's earnings uh, just for a few more. We said Meta should base at 430. It's actually basing quite nicely here. Look at resistance on Meta at uh, 445 and 448. And we have support currently at about 440. Otherwise, we're kind of stuck within this range. We have a nice range right here, so we'll see how things go. For Amazon, Amazon is also looking quite uh, decent. It's trying to push higher right here. We're going to be looking at this resistance in the 185 area, 185 to 186. If we break down, look at 182 as support. Uh, I'd be careful with Amazon. It, it looks like it has a nice structure right here, but my only concern is the fact that we're at resistance right here. The last time we hit this resistance, we got rejected many times. So will Amazon break through resistance and start pushing to the 188 plus area? Are we about to reject here? I'll be watching to see and give this some time. All right. So with that being said, guys, we'll see how things go for the markets. SPY is currently just shuffling at its 200 EMA. And I'll be very patient. We'll wait and see what happens with Apple's earnings. And we'll see if the head and shoulders puts out or not. I'm open minded to the possibility that I could be completely wrong and this might not even play out. But I still believe that there is merit behind the claim that this market could get a big rejection looking at cyclicals and what's happened with these yields and such. Yields came back down and that's helping the market push a little bit. But we will see if there's any shifts tomorrow. So always be open minded. We'll see how things go. With that being said, guys, I want to thank you all so much for listening. Let's be very, very patient, and we'll see what happens with uh, the earnings coming out and what reactions we get for tomorrow. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you guys in a few hours. And peace out.